Welcome IB Economics students to video lecture 1.6 today on calculating equilibrium prices and equilibrium quantities using linear supply and demand equations. So as we have learned in the previous lessons, the supply curve is a curve that shifts upwards and slopes upwards. Therefore, the gradients for supply curves are positive as seen in this equation right here. Well, in previous lessons, we have also learned that the demand curve of any given product, uh, in this case hamburgers, or it could be anything, every any given product, the demand curve shifts downwards. Therefore, the demand curve um, is exemplified through this um, linear equation. In today's video, we are going to be showing how to calculate equilibrium prices and equilibrium quantities. Equilibrium prices refers to the price at which a supply intersects demand as well as where the quantity produced uh, uh, supply equals demand. So um, from if we just look at the graph, we could basically sort of tell that the quantity supplied at equilibrium price is around 800 and, and the supply and, and the equilibrium price is around three, uh, in this case dollars per unit. However, if we want to calculate the precise figures, we could calculate the precise equilibrium price and quantity using uh, our linear uh, uh, linear supply and demand uh, functions. Now, it's very easy to calculate the linear supply and demand function. We simply put the two um, equations together. So we put a 1400 minus 200p, uh, which is the demand uh, equation, and we make it equal towards the 400 plus 400p. So this is when we put, um, this is when we put, this is, this is when we put, the demand and supply curves together. Because in previous uh, lectures together, because in previous lecture we have seen that um, uh, equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity is met when price and quantity price equals quantity demanded and also price uh, supplied is also equal to price demanded. So if we put the two equations together, in this instance we'll be able to reach that uh, conclusion. Now, um, with some simplifications, we'll be able to simplify it down. Firstly, let's uh, move the 200p, the negative 200p to the other side, which will give us 1400 is equal to negative 400 plus uh, 600p. Now, it is plus 600p because um, basic uh, algebra will tell us that if we move negative 200p to the other side, which means we plus negative 200p on both sides of this equation, giving us 600p. Now, in order to calculate the next step, so this, um, we move the um, negative 200p to the right hand side of the side of the equation um yeah so that's what we did in the second step in the third step what we're going to do is um move the minus 400 to the other side that will give us uh 1800 equals 16 uh, actually, 1800 equals 600p. Now, if we divide 600 to the other side, we will be able to get p equals 1800 divided by uh, 60. If we put out our calculator, we'll be able to see that uh, 60, uh, 600 times 3 equals 1800. Therefore, uh, price equals 3. So the equilibrium price, therefore, the equilibrium price equals 3. Now, so that we have the equilibrium price at, at which intersects the intersection between supply and demand is at quant uh, is at three dollars per unit. So now that we have the equilibrium price, the next step is to find the equilibrium quantity. Now, how do we find the quantity? There's basically two ways we could find the quantity. So, um, personally, um, you want to look at the uh the linear equations and then and then determine which one is easier whether or not you should use the supply or the demand curve in order to calculate now in this instance i'm going to use the demand curve and both the demand and supply so the demand function is qd equals 1400 minus 200 p if we put our price our, our equilibrium price of three into this equation the equation we will get is qd equals 1400 minus 200 multiplied by 3, 
which will give us QD equals 1400 minus 600, which, which will give us the result QD equals 800. Therefore, we'll be able, through the usage of the, of the demand curve, or the demand linear equation, we are able to get the uh, equilibrium quantity of 800. So if we look at the graph, we'll be able to determine around the ballpark. However, in some IB exams, especially in uh, mock exams, for example, in the 2017 exams, there was a question in exactly paper three for HL students that asked you to calculate the equilibrium price and quantity of a product and then graph it on in a graph on graphic form. So it is important for you to be able to calculate the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity of a, of a demand and supply graph and be able to graph it into a, a, a price and quantity curve. Now it is also able, you're also able to be able to calculate the quantity supplied uh, at equilibrium price which should theoretically equal the equilibrium uh, the equilibrium quantity demanded because when quantity supply and quantity demanded is intersected then the equilibrium point is met <clears throat> therefore we can also use the uh, the supply linear function, which is right here. I directly copy it from the from from the question. So uh, we do the same thing. So QS equals a uh, negative four hundred plus four hundred multiplied by three at the equilibrium price of three, as we have discovered from this section right here. Um, so that would give us a uh, QS equals negative four hundred plus of twelve thousand. Uh, positive 12,000, which will give us to QS equals 800. So a good way in order to make sure that uh, your calculations are correct is use both demand and supply uh, 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 curves in order to calculate um, your, your equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. Therefore, we will be able to get our final answer. So final answer. Final answer. So um, e equilibrium price is equal to three um, equilibrium quantity is equal to 800 units so in this case dollars so uh, from this example we are able to see how to calculate um, uh, the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity of a linear equation that was just given through by the question quantity demand is this, quantity supplied is this, at which point do these uh, two curves intersect? In order to find their intersection point, we put them together in a combined uh, graph and a combined function where um, the p is, uh, is, is adjusted to the same value. When the p is adjusted to the same value, we could conduct algebraic calculations on it, getting us the, um, the final result that P, when uh, quantity supplied equals quantity demanded, is 3. So the equilibrium price is 3. Having the equilibrium price of 3, well, we are able to put the put the uh, results back into either the demand curve or the supply curve. Now you could choose which one to use because uh, based on which one is simpler for the example of the question. In this case, I wanted to show that both demand and supply curve should theoretically have the same results, which in this case is 800. Right. So once we have 800, we could able to uh, reach the final answer that the equilibrium price of three, the equilibrium quantity of 800 is reached. Now that is in line with what our graph shows. You know, um, the two curves intersect at the point of level three, and the two uh, graphs intersect at the uh, quantity of 800. Now, I hope this video was helpful. Of you, if you did, please leave a like and feel free to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video where we will be overviewing the supply demand. Um, and equilibrium prices to finalize unit one of IB economics. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.